name's Jeff Angeli. I'm the director, founder, and one of the teachers over at South Coast Lessons. I'm going to be using this video today to teach you a uh, right hand technique and also the B part of Julianne Johnson. Julianne Johnson mostly just going to be our launching pad for learning the technique. So uh, the technique that I'm going to be teaching today is one that I call a round peak. It probably has as many names as it has players who play it. I've seen it written up as the Tommy Jarrell lick. Um, I've heard uh, other teachers call it the stock ending, which goes to show you how totally ubiquitous it is. It's something that uh, I would say most tunes that I play, I end up playing it at some point in the tune. It's a really, really, really common move in the old time canon, and it's gonna bring you a lot of dance to your playing and a lot of push, uh, and also a lot of authenticity. So here's the technique. I'm just gonna launch right into it. Um, for my bow arm, I'm gonna set you up with the simplest version first. We're gonna start on the A string, and we're gonna be moving over to the D string as the warm up to play in the lick. Those are the only things that you're gonna need, and we'll start with an A on the down. The D comes up. And then while we're going up, we're gonna slide the bow back to the A string, still going up. And then we'll have a quick down up, which I'm gonna call the shuffle at the end. So we'll have down on the A, up on D, bring that up back to A, and shuffle. So I'm gonna speed that up a little bit because it's impossible to hear what it's meant to sound like at that speed. Uh, and with me talking over it, and what it's meant to sound like is kind of the point. So here we go. It's gonna be down, up, up, down, up. Down, up, up, down, up. Pulsing over to that D on the initial up, and coming back to A and shuffle. So, that already sounds pretty good if I was to speed that up even more. It could sound pretty neat. I could take my Julianne Johnson notes. And I'd have something. But what's gonna make it sound even better is if instead of one note on the initial down, we play two notes on that initial down. So I'm laying down my D as a drone on the down bow. And then my, my D note on the up is still gonna be a single string. So that's gonna be a pulse to the D string. And that's exactly what I'm gonna call it, the pulse. And then when I come back from having visited that one string, it's gonna be to two strings again. And also on the shuffle. Sometimes my last bow sneaks into being just one note again on that pulse D. But for argument's sake, it's probably best to think of it as doubled string on everything except for the initial D up pulse. So that is down on two, up on one, back to two, and two for the shuffle. And if I play that just fast enough that it sounds like it's got a rhythm, it'll sound like this. speed it up a bit more, you'll be able to really hear the thing in the bowing, and it'll sound like this. So we've got a lick, and it sounds good, and I've got a crooked beard. And uh, the next thing that we would want to do is to try to put it into a song, because uh, by itself, it's kind of neat, but it's not really getting you that much, right? So let's put it together with some notes. The notes to Julianne Johnson are phrase one, pretty slow. We're gonna have B, C, D. So that's B, C, D. And I'm playing that same bow lick with it, but those are your notes. So it's gonna happen three times, that lick. B, C, D, shuffle on the D the first two times. 
Shuffle on D, lick again. Shuffle on D again. Third one, all the same except the shuffle belongs to B. And we're almost through the end of our first phrase. We've got B, C, D, D shuffle. B, C, D, D shuffle. B, C, D, B shuffle. And our last note is just an A. Now you could take that A as the open string. Sounds good, totally works. I'll play the phrase with that. Pretty good, right? Now what I usually actually do is I play the pinky finger unison. So I've got A on the open A string and A over on the D string as well. And that's gonna get a little bit more of that fiddle authenticity that we're talking about in there. So if I do that, I've got. And hopefully your A on the pinky is a little more in tune than mine just was, but. Uh, here is the bow. So the bow should be exactly the same as what we were talking about a moment ago. It's that same technique, down, uh, up, down, up, single string will do, double strings even better. And we're gonna play that through the whole first phrase, going pretty slow, starting on that B. And I've got it here, it goes. All right, and let's get through phrase two, and then we can get to the spot where you really get a chance to play it along with me. I'll show you that too. So phrase two, same notes. B, C sharp, D to begin. Same shuffle on the D. But we're only gonna go twice. And this time, instead of shuffling on D, I'm gonna shuffle right on the open strings. Because I gotta get up to F sharp, E, D, B for my next lead. So that's the shuffle that we had from the first phrase. shuffle and then just the notes F sharp E D B and then we just need an A again which you could use as the open A string or you could use as the unison A and I actually hit it mostly that time all right so here's that phrase again the bow should be almost identical there's four notes that are not going to follow our round peak pattern here are the notes of the B part with their bow. Uh, not B part, but the B phrase, the second phrase. Sa, 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 sa. So sa, 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 F sharp, E, D, B. Down, up, down, up. So this is the part where what I would usually do with my classes is I would go into a call and response phrase section. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Uh, my plan here is I'll play the first phrase and then you play the first phrase and then I'll play the second phrase and then you play the second phrase. And uh, if I keep good time, then you should be able to start right when I stop and I should be able to start right when you stop and we'll have this kind of cycle going around it'll sound like a song it won't sound uh like the song completed because we'll be going first phrase first phrase second phrase second phrase but it'll be musical so let's see if we can get musical here it goes uh first phrase for me i'm gonna come in at this speed you're coming in on one two three four no you're not i'm sorry i apologize that's Again, I've got now you two, three, four. Now me.
And I've got the second phrase. Last time through. And hear that last phrase. And you've got it. So here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna play the whole B part of the tune, even slower than we just did the call and response. I realize that I might've gone a little quick through that. Uh, I'm gonna play the whole B part of the tune. I'm gonna loop it a little bit, so it's not even gonna just be its regular number of repeats. I'll probably play through the whole thing like twice, and that'll give you a chance to play along with it for a minute, uh, probably almost exactly a minute. And uh, let's just go for that. So here you should be able to see my left hand and my right hand. I'll give you a count in. We're going together. One, two, one, two, slowly going. <laughs> So that's one of a lot of different right hand techniques. It's probably the most important one, to be totally fair and honest. But uh, what it does is it puts the accent on that first note, right? That it really brings that first note out. So as we build up bow techniques, we could end up with Raina Geller pose, which are gonna build up the third beat of the bar. So instead of bringing forward that B out of my B C sharp D, I'm bringing forward the D. Ah. All right, uh, and I can show you your way through that and a whole bunch of other techniques as well. Um, so this is the part where I do the pitchy spiel thing. So uh, just to let you know, I do teach lessons like I mentioned earlier, and I do teach, uh, well, at the moment, uh, with the coronavirus scare, I am teaching all of them online right now. And I have group lessons available that uh, work people through arrangements of fiddle tunes with authentic right-hand bow motions uh, and nice note arrangements and uh, different sliding techniques and other things like the unisons that'll bring in authenticity and danceability to your playing. And I also have individual one-on-one -on -one lessons available uh, doing the same thing. And uh, honestly, I have banjo lessons and guitar lessons and ukulele lessons too. But the people that I'm hoping to reach with this video are folks who are looking to expand their 
uh, old-time fiddle playing and bring in new techniques that will bring your playing to the next place. So if you're interested and uh, this video was all you needed to get you something that will keep your hunger satisfied for a while, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you play the heck out of the B part of Julianne Johnson. Go find you an A part if you don't have one already and learn how to play that one, that part up real nice too and enjoy every bit of it. If you're looking to find out a little bit more or just reinforce this technique or find some of the other ones, uh, find out about some of the other ones, drop me a line. I am available by phone, uh, by text, or the old-fashioned use your voice and call me thing that a lot of people's phones don't seem to do anymore. My number is 508-207-7357. And I'm also available by email at southcoastlessons at gmail.com. That's southcoast, S-O-U-T-H-C-O-A-S-T. And then lessons, L-E-S-S-O-N-S. -S -S -S, all spelled the way you expect the words to be spelled. All smashed together, no capitals or anything like that, at gmail.com. And I'm not going to spell that part for you. I'm betting you can figure it out. And I hope to hear from some of you, and those of you who I don't hear from, I hope that a fair number of you get something out of this and, uh, and really enjoy adding it to your playing. Thanks for watching.